Hello. <laughs> I'm just doing the textbook presenter stuff. Oh, okay. So I'm here with my friend Simon, uh, old rival of Mortal Kombat, <laughs> and we're just going to be doing some Mortal Kombat on the channel for you. So. Let's go. So we're both playing as our favorite characters. My favorite's Liu Kang. Simon's favorite is Scarlet. So how many of the Mortal Kombat games have you played? Um, since the first one. So by yeah. first one, do you mean like the one from the 90s? Is it Sega, was it on the Sega Mega Drive? It was, and the Super Nintendo. Well, like the original was like on every console ever at the time. Oh, okay. Even yeah. the Game Boy, believe it or not. <coughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, no, I had the... We had the original on Sega. Yeah. I got into it more recently with uh, Mortal Kombat 9. Oh, that was a sick one. Yeah. But yeah, I've basically been playing it since then. And um, Injustice, which is by the same developers. I didn't play the one before this. Mortal much. Kombat 10. It wasn't that great, if I'm honest. The one, is it X? Mortal Kombat? X, yeah. yeah. I'd say 9 and 11 are by far the better ones. Yeah. Oh! Skull Crusher. It's Skull Crushing time! It's kind of interesting that they brought Scarlet back because she was just a DLC character in Nine. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> they said they went a bit too far when they added her in with her weird fatalities and stuff. I'd actually say that Mortal Kombat X had probably the most gruesome fatalities in the franchise. Oh really? Especially because the sound design on them was absolutely horrific. It made it sound so realistic. This one they're a lot more cartoony, which is more what they should be. <laughs> Somewhat. Oh fuck. Oh sorry. I can sense about that, don't worry. <laughs> it's, it's not like I've never sworn on my show before. <laughs> that was close, wasn't it? I yeah, keep spamming the same one. move, I think you're catching on. Yeah. <laughs> and normally I play it in handheld mode, so it's a bit weird playing it on the screen. Oh, okay. I mean, to be fair, I. I played it originally on the Xbox One like you, and then this version came on sale on the eShop, so I had to re-unlock everything. Which I know that you know how much of a pain that is, because the amount of efforts you've gone through unlocking stuff for Scarlet. Yeah. Oh, has a teleport. How come that... <laughs> there we go. No, oh, this is a nice way to. I think Raiden's friendship is probably my favourite one, which, um, you know, if I win the next round, maybe you'll see it. Took you ages to unlock No Mask Scarlet. Yeah. I did, yeah. I don't even know why. And you didn't even oh. care when you'd unlocked it. No, that's what happens with it. <laughs> it's ironic how <laughs> it takes a lot more effort to unlock less of something, because that's what you're winning. You're wearing, you're w winning less of what you already had. I think I'm, I think I'm actually going to go for the Joker for this round. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I, I admit, I'm not the biggest fan of how a lot of the guest characters in NetherRealm games play. 
but Joker's an obse uh, exception to that because I think he plays great, at least to my play style. Yeah, he's really cool. Oh, what you don't like? So you don't, it's not like you don't like how they did him. You just no, no. It's like I, 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 it's cool seeing some of the guest characters. I just don't like how a lot of them play. It is also cool they got Richard Epcar, the voice of Raiden, to do his voice as well. Oh, he's being the Joker. Yeah, that's cool. It's co it's kind of weird because a lot of the time he does sort of deep, gruff voices like Jojo from Stardust Crusaders. So to hear him do a voice like that is really funny. You have to admit it was funny. Oh my god! It makes sense that of all the, because uh, Netherrealm's owned by Warner Brothers, who also own the DC Comics, it makes sense they'd have the Joker out of all of them, because you couldn't exactly have Batman performing a fatality, could you? Ugh. I can't remember all the things. I haven't got any there. Mm. Round two. Fight. Okay, I've got one. I've got a combo. All right. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Oh. Spammable, that isn't it? It is, it's such an easy move to do. <laughs> What's um, do you know who normally does the voice of the Joker and pretty much anything Batman related? No, oh. Mark Hamill, the guy who plays oh, Luke yeah. Skywalker. Yeah, surprise, <laughs> sure. I think he said that he actually prefers playing the Joker than playing Luke Skywalker. Oh really? Yeah. Because apparently he's more interesting. Right? Apparently he's really shy on camera. He doesn't like doing physical acting. I love voiceover animation because people can't see you. Technically, it shouldn't have been my face because when I, you were screaming, it was I was jumping. <laughs> These range ones are good, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that did. Oh, that's a oh, that's one of those ones. Spamming in the same room. Mid air catch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, in uh, traditional fashion, it's down to a best of three. Oh, no. So now it's a tiebreaker. I got to be. I did actually better with her, but I'll go back to Scarlet because I think I'm getting. I'm remembering the move. Okay. Who are you going to be? Raiden. Okay. He's, my, he's normally he's the second one I go for. One of your mates. Outside of Liu Kang. Fair. One point one one G. Oh god. It is fun having Johnny Cage do all the knee announcements because each one's just a <laughs> reference. Speaking of movies, uh, have you seen the new Mortal Kombat movie? No, I couldn't be bothered. I watched a review of it. Okay. I didn't like the look of it. I didn't like the bit where it had um, Goro chasing after the thing in like a horror movie kind of way. All right. Well, it looked like, like they were trying to make it more like a horror movie. Yeah, but I was in the middle. Of, I was in the middle of moving in at the time, so I didn't have time to see it. Oh, have you not seen it? No. The only new movie I've seen so far this year is Kong vs Godzilla. Okay. Which was a good movie. Fight. Oh no. Not going 
wow. <laughs> Oh, got a good combo in there. Yeah, one. Good dodge there. I deliberately set up like a decoy and you didn't fall for it. Oh, no. We both managed to block each other's fatal blows. Oh, nice. You're really good at that combo, I must yeah, say. Yeah, it's quite an easy one, but mm. this, that's why I like it most, because she's got, she's got the one decent combo. Yeah. That's why I like Liu Kang, because a lot of his combos involve juggling. Play. Raiden's is probably one of the least violent, except for that part, <laughs> but it's still probably one of the least violent of all the fatal blows. Oh, good luck. Oh my god, he's done the comp just when he needed yeah! it. Yeah! <laughs> the final managed to get in there just at the right moment. Yeah, he did. I think that's actual motion capture, like, that's actually real footage right there. Oh really? Yeah. And it's quite cool. Hmm. Wow. Well, well done, George. Yeah. I knew there was a friendship one. They, yeah. it, it was added in in a later update. I would uh, like to see Scarlett's friendship one at some point. I think she, um, mm. does she do a painting? Or is that something Yeah, she else? does do a painting. Yeah, Blood painting. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well. That was our Mortal Kombat tournament. <laughs> Hopefully you may see this if Simon lets me upload it. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Okay. You but till the next time, see you later.